Get out your magnifying glasses to help us comb the lyrics of Taylor Swift's The Tortured Poets Department for mentions of her tight and true love, Travis Kelsey. With the exceptions of the fictional, narrative-driven folklore and evermore, each Taylor Swift album drop leads Swifties to scramble to speculate about which exes of hers got a musical roast. The midnight release of the Tortured Poets Department on April 19, 2024, was no different. The conventional wisdom among fans was that they'd finally get the lowdown on her days with Joe Alwyn, especially given the album's title, which feels like a direct reference to Alwyn's Tortured Man Club group chat with Paul Meskel and Andrew Scott. So what's the name of the WhatsApp group that we're in? <laughs> <laughs> Tortured. It's either the Tortured or the Lonely. Tortured Man Club, I think. But it turns out the album isn't as Alwyn-centric as we thought it would be. Fans seem to think that it's largely about her brief fling with the 1975 frontman Matty Healy, with a solid track or two thrown in for her latest squeeze, Kansas City Chiefs star Travis Kelsey. To be clear, Swift hasn't just made a career out of subtweeting her exes. The Grammy winner is equally adept at churning out hits about falling head over heels in love. She called one of her albums Lover, after all. Though it definitely has some tearjerker tracks like So Long London, the Tortured Poets Department has plenty of romance on it, too. Track 15, The Alchemy, might as well be titled The Travis. Penned in the middle of her era's tour with Kelsey himself playing cheerleader at several shows, it's clear that Swift managed to dedicate a love letter to her football-playing beau just in time for the album's release. Swift typically keeps the muses behind her tracks under wraps, but she's tossed enough football references into this song to leave us with little doubt that, yes, it's all about Kelsey. The song revels in the excitement of a brand new romance, peppered with talk of unbeatable chemistry. Swift sings, Baby, I'm the one to beat, cause the sign on your heart said it's still reserved for me. Honestly, who are we to fight the alchemy? The next lines are all football metaphors about touching down, a winning streak, and feeling like the greatest in the league. She even appears to have included a nod to Kelsey's three Super Bowl wins with, Where's the trophy? He just comes running over to me. Swift then drops the football of it all for a bit to sing about a love that happens once every few lifetimes, adding, These chemicals hit me like white wine. After years of secretive relationships, the song shows Swift seeming to enjoy being in love in the public eye, declaring it her rightful place. She sings, I circled you on a map. I haven't come around in so long, but I'm coming back so strong. Mere hours after the initial release of the Tortured Poets Department, Swift announced that she was dropping 15 more songs, beefing it up to the double album The Tortured Poets Department, The Anthology. Nestled among the surprise tracks is what seems to be yet another love letter to Kelsey, So High School. With the song's 90s vibes, Swift captures the quintessential high school crush experience. She sings, I want to find you in a crowd just to hide from you. She then seems to reference a 2016 video where Kelsey, during a game of Mary Kiss or Kill, had to choose between Swift, Katy Perry, and Ariana Grande. Now, Taylor Swift would be the kiss, and then Katy Perry, what's the last one? Katy Perry. Katy Perry would Mary. be the, yeah, Katy Mary Perry, Perry would be the man. He's like, Swift sings, are you gonna marry, kiss, or kill me? Kill me. Swift also hints at Kelsey making the first move with the line, you knew what you wanted and boy, you got her. Kelsey admitted to shooting his shot by attending a The Era's stop to try and give her a friendship bracelet with his number, only to get sent away by her security. That she doesn't meet anybody and she doesn't, or at least she didn't want to meet me, so I, um, I took a personal. Of course, they did meet, and now it's part of pop music history, with the reference to it in Swift's song. 